What's your favorite scary movie? It's just not the same, is it? It's like we both are falling in love again. It'll be just like starting over. Scream 4. Scream 4. Just. Scream 4. So this is the fourth installment of the popular Scream franchise, which I love, and it basically pokes fun at all the cliches of horror movies, which I really appreciate. And what it's about, Sidney Prescott, played by Nev Campbell, comes back, she's the main character of the past three, she comes back to Woodsboro to promote her new book, and of course, Ghostface just has to show up again and start killing a lot of people, very bloody, oh yeah. And from there, just takes off with a lot of blood. Now, I wanted to do this movie knowing it wasn't going to be as good as the first one, because that's just not possible, but still really hoping for a good time, and you know what? I had a freaking blast with Scriform. I don't think I can call it anything else at this point, I'm just so used to that now. now. All the acting is really good, I mean, the old cast slips, they come back to the roles, you know, really well, they've really, you know, gotten used to their characters. My new cast is a lot better than I thought. Emma Roberts has, you know, shows a different side to her, which I've never seen before, and I think Emma Roberts, now I think she has a lot more potential, and Hayden Pantier, I thought she was going to be awful in this movie, I really did, but you know what, she was actually great, and of course those two were, you know, really hot, that, that probably helped things. I really like the direction and the look of this movie from Wes Craven, he has a particular, you know, sense of direction with his horror movies, and he really brings that here, I mean, he brings a lot of his creepy factor and tension to the movie, and that definitely helps when he's scaring the crap out of you. The script is really good, there's a lot of great and funny dialogue, there's, the pop culture references are really funny, and of course, all the, you know, jokes about making fun of cliches in horror movies, they're back, and they're just great. I love, I love how they're making fun of remakes, since remakes are the fad these days, and those are just really, really annoying. And one of the things I really like about the Scream franchise is that, despite the fact that it can be really, really funny, because there are parts where I actually laughed out loud in this movie, but it can also scare the crap out of you. Ugh. I mean, what I like, it's never cheap scares, and they use the fact that they know what they're doing to really scare you even more so that it's not cliched and it just there's just so suspenseful and then it the jump scares these are there's probably like one dumb jump scare other than that the jump scares are extremely effective and I jumped I admit it and of course this being a new decade with new rules we gotta amp up the blood and gore and it's beautiful I mean this is definitely the bloodiest one there is blood everywhere. Dude totally gets, you know, stabbed in the forehead. That's that's just awesome. I mean, you know, the whodunit element of the screen franchise is back here, and... Okay, here's the thing. I'd like to say I didn't see the twist coming, because it is very surprising, but let me just say this. If you have not seen this movie yet, and you want to see it, and you want to be... You don't want to know who the killer is, or killers, I'm not going to say... Do not look in the comments of a video relating to Scream 4. There's just going to be some jerk there who spoils it for you. The thing I loved about this movie is that, despite the fact that it has a modern touch, which I really enjoyed, this feels just like a good old-fashioned Scream movie. The scares are just the same and very, very effective. The script is really funny and solid. The, you know, jokes about making fun of horror movies, still the same. I really like that, and... I just like that they don't mess with the original. That's something that a lot of remakes and reboots do. This one doesn't, which is one of the best things about it. I mean, you know, I don't really have any major complaints. I mean, at, definitely towards the end, it does feel a little bit long. Could, there's a point where it really could have ended just right there, just change it up a little bit, but it could have ended right there. But it goes on a little bit too long, but that's not really a major complaint. And at times, let me stress this, at times, the plot can feel a little bit underwritten, just a little bit at times. But other than that, I had a blast with Scream 4. It was a lot of fun. Whether you're a Scream fan or not, you're going to have a lot of fun. Highly recommend it. You know, if you're looking for a good scare, good laugh, good time, anything, highly recommend Scream 4. I'm going to give it 9 out of 10. I enjoyed it so much. Definitely getting it on DVD and Blu-ray, because Blu-ray is the way to go. So stick around either tomorrow or Friday morning for my review of Super, which I found on demand since there's nothing out in theaters this weekend. And stick around for a screen parody video on my short film channel. I've been working on that. And yeah, until next time, I'm Alan Gunn here to tell you what's crap and what's not.